What is up? Um, if you're watching this video, you're probably here to see what I have for sale. I got a set of CTS boost pipes. These go from the turbo to the intercooler. You use your uh, your stock couplers for this. It's a decent upgrade over stock. Kind of just throwing these in there because I have no use for them. I upgraded. Um, it'll also come with a racing line turbo muffler delete. It's like basically new. Like this thing looks brand spanking new. I just cleaned everything up. And then uh, Turbo Smart. Real nice. I got the box for it as well. Uh, I got all the, the bolts that come with the uh, muffler delete and the BOV. And of course here we have the IS38. And I want to sell all of this together like 1200 bucks. But uh, I'm going to take a look here. We got the wastegate on there, obviously, and it's already calibrated. If you know anything about doing turbo swaps on these cars, calibrating the uh, the wastegate can be a real pain in the butt. So this saves you a lot of time. Um, turbo is on the car for like maybe 30,000 miles. It's in really good condition. Uh, obviously, the reason I'm selling it is because I upgraded personally, and I, I just sat here and cleaned it all up. Everything looks good. Spins real nice. There is zero shaft play. I'll set her down here. Look in. See the exhaust side. Everything looks real nice. I said literally zero. Zero shaft play. Boom. That's what we're looking at. I tried to clean everything up as best as I could. I got boxes over here already to ship this stuff. Get a better look at the muffler delete. The seal on here is just dandy. Nice and clean. Nothing crazy there. You got the blow off valve. This is the half and half. Half recirculate, half atmosphere. I said I have the box for it. See all that. Oh, and the turbo is an H revision so you got that all this is for sale uh, also while you're here if you uh, geez also if you're here uh, might as well subscribe to the channel we got a big turbo golf R here just put it in the EQT can't even really tell it looks it looks OEM and we got the precision waste works fueling to go with it. It is a manual car. It's mostly racing line stuff. We got BC coil over his lightweight wheels. Got a big brake kit coming soon. I'm starting to do some weight reduction here. You see we've got the back seats out. I'm trying to sell the front seat. I'm trying to sell the whole interior really. Um, but yeah, that's the car. If you want to see me racing or doing installs, reviews, any of that stuff, feel free to subscribe and join the fam here. I do the build. The car is being built for autocross, but I upgraded turbos and fueling to help with carbon buildup. And I, I've already blown an IS38 once. Didn't want that to happen again, so I upgraded. Plus, it gives me a little bit more power. Should make 450 on pump, somewhere close to that, 440, 450, and God knows what it'll make on ethanol. But uh, we're going on the dyno Saturday. Um, we'll see what she makes and we'll go from there. We got autocross and. A raw race event, uh, a whole bunch of stuff coming up this summer. We did the next five weekends, we're all booked for some type of, of race event. Uh, so yeah, if you feel like sticking around for any of that stuff, when we get a big, like I said, the big brake kits coming soon, uh, more suspension bits. I'm looking for lower control arms, some frame, subframe, trailing arm. Uh, it's probably going to get replaced as a whole with all 30, 034, and then get the ECS trailing arm braces as well anyway all types of stuff coming but you've seen the product you see what i got for sale real quick please buy it i need to to pay off my paypal debt for buying this turbo so anyway thanks for watching and i'll uh catch you on the flip-flop